Hey there, pilots. This is Dauntless Sam, and today we'll be looking at the history of the Vought OS2U Kingfisher and its flight characteristics in War Thunder. The Vought OS2U Kingfisher was an American catapult-launched observation float plane. It was a compact mid-winged monoplane with large central float and small stabilizing floats. Performance was modest because of its light engine. The OS-2U could also operate on fixed-wheeled, tail-dragger landing gear. The OS-2U was the main shipboard observation aircraft used by the United States Navy during World War II, and 1,519 of the aircraft were built. It served on battleships and cruisers of the United States Navy, with the United States Marine Corps in Marine Scouting Squadron 3, with the United States Coast Guard at coastal air stations, at sea with the fleet air arm of the Royal Navy and with the Soviet Navy. The Royal Australian Air Force also operated a few Kingfishers from shore bases. The Naval Air Factory OS-2N was the designation of the OS-2U-3 aircraft built by the Naval Aircraft Factory in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The OS-2U flew first on March 1, 1938. In the late 1930s, Vought engineer Rex B. Beisel was tasked with designing an observation monoplane aircraft for the United States Navy suitable for a multitude of tasks including directing battleship fire. In replacing the standard biplane observation aircraft with a more modern monoplane design, Beisel incorporated innovations becoming the first production type to be assembled with spot welding a process Vought and the Naval Aircraft Factory jointly developed to create a smooth fuselage that resisted buckling and generated less drag. For combat missions, the pilot had a 30 caliber machine gun, while the radio operator gunner manned another 30 caliber machine gun on a flexible ring mount. The aircraft could also carry two 100-pound bombs, or two 325-pound depth charges. Additionally, the Kingfisher, as it was designated, served as a trainer in both its seaplane and landplane configurations. Beisel's first prototype flew in 1938, powered by an air-cooled 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney R9854 Wasp Jr. radial engine. The first 54 Kingfishers were delivered to the United States Navy beginning in August of 1940 and six had been assigned to the Pearl Harbor-based battle force before the end of the same year. Many of the following 158 OS-2U-2s were attached to flight training at Naval Air Station Pensacola, Florida, but 53 were assigned to equip the newly established inshore patrol squadrons based at Jacksonville, Florida. In 1942, nine more inshore patrol squadrons were established, all exclusively equipped with OS-2N1s built by the Naval Aircraft Factory. The Kingfisher was widely used as a shipboard catapult-launched scout plane on United States Navy battleships, heavy cruisers, and light cruisers during World War II, as well as playing a major role in support of shore bombardments and air-sea rescue. Two examples showing the plane's rescue capabilities include the recovering of World War I ace Eddie Rickenbacker and his crew from the Pacific in November 1942, and Lieutenant John A. Burns' unique use of the aircraft in April 1944 to taxi airmen rescued from the Truk Lagoon to the submarine USS Tang, which was serving rescue duty near the atoll on that date. In all, Lieutenant Burns rescued 10 survivors on two trips and was awarded the Navy Cross for his efforts. Australia received 18 Kingfishers from a batch of aircraft ordered by the Dutch East Indies that was diverted to Australia in 1942. They were initially used as training aircraft for pilots destined for flying boats, but in 1943 they were used to equip No. 107 Squadron RAAF, which carried out convoy escort duties until disbanded on October 1945. One Kingfisher was used in support of the Australian National Antarctic Research Expedition in 1947 to 1948. Throughout its United States Navy service, the OS-2U and even its predecessor, the Curtis SOC Seagull, served much longer than planned, 
As the planned successor, the Curtis SO3C Seamew suffered from an insufficiently powerful engine, which was a complete failure. The OS2U was only slowly replaced in the later stages of World War II with the introduction of the Curtis SC Seahawk, the first examples reaching the United States Navy in October 1944. In War Thunder, there are two variations of the OS2U Kingfisher, the OS2U-1 and the OS2U-3. Both are rank 1 with a battle rating of 1.3. The OS2U-1 has a maximum speed of 282 kilometers an hour, a turn time of 35.8 seconds, and a rate of climb of 5.7 meters per second. The OS2U-3 has a maximum speed of 278 kilometers an hour, a turn time of 35.8 seconds, and a climb rate of 13.1 meters per second. Both are armed with one 30 caliber machine gun with 500 rounds, and a single 30 caliber rear-facing machine gun turret with 600 rounds. Also, both can be loaded with two 100-pound bombs. Both of these planes are quite ineffective in both air combat and ground attack roles, as they were never really designed to do such things. The firepower is very weak, and getting the nose of the plane on target is difficult to achieve, so even getting assists in this aircraft is not easy. The two 100-pound bombs can only take out very light targets, but are at least more effective than the single machine gun available. The Kingfisher is entertaining to fly if you do not have the unreasonable expectation to do extremely well. I hope that this information has proved helpful. If you liked the video, please do like the video. If you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and if you think anyone else would be interested in this video, don't be afraid to share it. This is Dauntless Sam, thanks for watching.